Hello, my name is Jillian Peaver. Today you'll see me teaching an intermediate class. I've been teaching at Canada's National Ballet School for over 10 years now, but this is my first online class. Teaching dance online is an interesting medium. It reminds me of times when I've closed the door to my room, cranked the music, and just let loose. This is the inspiration for the class today. Whether you've been dancing with the school for many years or if you're just joining us now, I hope you enjoy this class. The music will be accompanied by music by Craig Wingrove. He is a, a wonderful musician at the school here. You can find his music at Google Play, iTunes, and Spotify. Just a reminder before we start to check the space around you for any obstacles, walls, little people, <laughs> and uh, also please be aware of your footwear, whether you're wearing socks or shoes and the floor you're dancing on. All right, so let's get started with the class. Enjoy the music and get dancing. We're going to start with a warm up away from the bar. Give yourself lots of space to move your arms freely. Throughout this exercise, I want you to go for reaching far from your center. I want you to think about gathering your center in, lifting your spine and reaching your legs down. Really connect to your ballet posture and the sense of dance through the music. There's a number of sections here. First, we swim. Swim your arm backwards. And other arm, reach forwards and reach back. Feel like you're touching the wall behind you and the wall in front of you. Reverse that direction. Start back, reach forward. Feel the twist that happens through your spine, back in front and back and front. You drop your head down for the second section, which is about circling your head, neck, shoulders, and rib cage. I'll just demonstrate with my hands on my ribs and head to show how, how I can draw that circle keeping a harm, harmony between your head, neck, shoulders, and rib cage. So I just finished my swimming and I start rolling side, back, side, and front. Again, one direction and then the other. And turning opposite direction around the back, side, and front, never letting your head drop back, keeping your neck long. Then we'll start working through the foot, a little prancing on the spot, and we'll go a little bit faster and get ready to shift the weight side to side. I load up the weight of my body onto one leg and push it off, pushing through my foot to propel me side to side. I feel a little bit like I'm skating here. That amount of push you need to slide across the ice and really feel control of my knee right over top of my toes. So we start slow, two, three, four, and we'll go a little faster as you feel comfortable. Gather your feet back to first now for our final section. Arms in fifth and uh, in fifth on avant. Just step back a little. And we'll go through the feet now in a turned out position. Through the foot to first. Four times. Through the foot to first. Feel wide in your hips. Feel the rotation through the thighs. And don't worry about how wide your toes are. 
turnout is about turning out from the hips. So it's not about how far you can open your toes, especially at this level and stage in your training. Let's try it now with music. Starting in parallel, we swim, we swim the other way, we do some circling of the upper body, and we have some footwork in parallel. We have some skating, and we finish with footwork in first. At the end, open wide and lower. forward, core lifting up and 
tailbone going down. exercises at the bar, make sure to place your hand in front of you, not right beside you to create tension. Soft hand forwards and try not to bring any tension into that arm or hand. In this plie exercise, I really want you to feel the width across your pelvis, your core lifted up and in, and as you do a soft, graceful bending of the knees, make sure to open your knees and your thighs in the direction of your toes. So we'll turn on our legs, plie knees over toes. In grand plies, don't hit the bottom, but rather go just to where you feel your legs really working, and then come back up pressing through your heels to rise up from the floor. The exercise goes like this. Demi-plie one, and stretch. Demi-plie grand plie. Returning up, and quick rise up, and down again. Demi-plie, open the arm, and plie grand plie. Recover and tendu to second. Feel that width across your hips. We repeat the same pattern in first and fifth. Demi and stretch and grand plie and a five, six and seven and eight and a one and and two, yeah, and up, and up, tendu side, seven, and eight. Repeat it in fifth position, return back to first. Arm opens, forward bend, tipping over your legs. Now, if you can't reach the floor, just let your arms and head dangle down, and I want you to be in a bit of a curved position of your back. If you can reach the floor, maybe you bring both hands down and just release the top of your head down towards the floor. No matter what position you're in, up or down, you should be able to see your body. Now that'll be tricky if you're watching the screen, <laughs> so don't worry about it too much. Just if you're able to practice this another time, do this with a curved spine to, to develop a nice roll up through your spine. So, let's go back. We open our arms to second, and we do forward bend, two, and plie, and stretch, and rolling up through your spine, arm open. And side bend up, and bend, and open, recover back. And now one more side bend, this time going into a plie. Make sure to have both feet equally on the floor. Roll through the center, 
and roll up to finish. In this exercise, anytime your arm is above, just watch out that you're not letting your spine go into a sway back. So from a rolling up position, you don't want to go too far. Next tendu exercise, we're working on the position of coup de pied devant and derriere, and how we can move from those positions into a small développé, presenting the heel forward as your knee remains rotating out to the side. So let's start learning this exercise, standing in fifth position to start. Remember that arm is slightly ahead of you at the bar. Introduction, arm open to second, and coup de pied, and tendu devant, and plie, little bounce, stretch that leg further, reaching your heel forward, and close back into fifth. Coup de pied, Hold and double pace second and plie, bounce and reach and close fifth back. Coup de pied back now. In coup de pied back, remember it's your heel touching the back of your low leg, not your toe. Heel touching. So here we are. We would lift to coup de pied and small double pay, plie reach it out and close and now pick up your inside foot to coup de pied devant to repeat that pattern on the inside bounce and reach and close now we start the whole thing to the back coup de pied back first double pied little bounce and plie coup de pied open side plie bounce and close and repeat to the front. Bounce, and now inside foot for the final repetition. Bounce and reach and close. Ready?
open the arm through demi-second and through the center to fifth on O. Simple start. We have tendu front, close, two, and close, three, and close, bring it in, plie, and stretch to side, out, and close, second, and close, five, and six, plie, and stretch to the back, one, and two, three, and four, Five, six, plie and stretch, side and change, out and in, five and six and plie, stretch, tendu devant, ton lie, out and close, inside foot back to ton lie, Back to your starting position. Tendu side, plie, close the foot behind, and again back to the bar, six, seven, and eight. Now tongue lie back, two, three, and close, devant, six, seven, and eight. One more time, side. This time, close front, out, and six, seven, and eight. Remember, any time you're reaching your arm up into fifth on O, make sure to connect your rib cage and your hips, keeping your core active and not allowing your back to sway. So gathering in your center, arm lifting up, strong core. In the ton liés, you can have a little bit of fun and make it really dancey, okay? And just to remember that your hips throughout that playful, dancey upper body, the hips remain as much as possible facing forwards with two equal sides. All right, let's try this with music. standing more on the back foot, but standing firmly on the front foot as well. That creates a bit of an angle forwards through your body so that we're not parked back, which feels a little bit vertical, but in fact we're a little bit forwards and you can see in, the, in relationship to my door frame here, not backwards, but ever so slightly forwards on the diagonal.
Montagage. In this exercise, we're working from a plie into a brush out to your degage. So please push down like you're pressing a spring down and then brush the foot and feel that rebound up from the floor. We also have some cloche movements. Please be sure to cross your leg right behind you to the back. I'll be demonstrating it on an angle slightly so you can see, but please, as you go to the back, you just double check that your leg is right behind your own hip. Okay, let's learn it. Introduction, take your arm quickly to second. Plie, brush, pique, close. Again, plie, brush, pique, close. Brush front, reach to the back, and quick, quick, tendu, close. Plie, brush, pique. Again, plie, brush, pique. Go back, and front, and quick, quick, tendu, close. Plie, brush, second, Pique, close back. Plie, brush, pique. And out, and in, and out, and in. Quickly in second, back, front, three and four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie, releve, fifth. You can choose to take both hands off or remain at the bar, lifting your arms up for a final pose. So let's see what we end up doing. One hand or two. Let's try it with music. Ready?
times when I'm teaching, I see that there's a struggle in understanding proper hip alignment when, in, when working with the leg lifted, especially in second. The hips want to go up and down and, and twist in all the wrong ways. So let's, let's do an experiment. Please get yourself a chair and bring it so that you can sit on it. Um, I have a higher chair. Uh, it's okay if you have a low chair, it, it does matter. What does matter is that you're able to sit with a straight back, with a lengthened spine. I can show you this in a side view as well as front. I'm sitting now right on my sit bones. So just give yourself a little wiggle and feel those sit bones right on your chair. Let's play with how the hips can move in this position. Starting with rocking back and front, back and front, so I can curve my spine and arch my spine. Notice that my legs are naturally in this 90 degree angle right now in the seated position. Some of you won't be able to sit in that vertical spine with your legs at 90 degrees. So in that case, you really want to work on finding some mobility in your spine. So go ahead and arch and curve and warm up that hip joint to allow for eventually a nice straight spine coming straight up from your sit bones. So that's working front and back. Now let's talk side to side. If you just sort of lift one hip and the other and try to remain se seated tall, you'll notice your body instantly has to do this side bend. My rib cage and my hip come closer together. So if I lift my right, if I lift the right hip up, if you lift your right hip up with me, you'll notice that the right side body is shortened and quite tense, actually. In proper articulation of the hip joint, your two side bodies are long. There is not a kink in one side. Now, to avoid the kink, we could just tip all the way over like the old teapot game <laughs> that you may have done as a child. So that is also not the correct way to articulate in the hip socket. As you can see, I'm not articulating, I'm just tipping in one big piece. Okay, so if you want to work on some mobility in the hips, you could play around doing circles or some forward and back in a seated position. Now, how to bring this to standing? Let's stand in first position. If you want your chair handy to help you balance, that would be a good idea. Lift one leg. Well, it would be better to lift this leg, wouldn't it? Uh, if you are able to, hold on to your knee and see if you can feel that same articulation in your hip where your sit bones were sitting right on the chair just like you were, sort of in that seated position like this, but now with the knee open to the side, and try your other side. I'll just do it this way, okay? And just a, a side view of that, my leg is not completely sideways, it's slightly in front. Just like your first position, the toes are on the diagonal, the diagonal outwards, so too should your knee be on that same sort of diagonal. You might be able to open it a little wider, but it is definitely not to the side. See what happens as soon as I have to move my knee more sideways, I create this big kink in my side. Forwards of the knee, and I can sustain the two equal sides of my body. Okay, 
So that is a little warm up for your hips. Now let's learn Rond de Jambe. Standing in fifth position. Introduction, open to demi second and close. Plie, brush front and open through second, around to the back, rond de jambe on de or, and again. And brush through first, devant, rond de jambe, à la seconde on layer, and continue to the back, tendu, and close. Plie, brush back, and rond de jambe, passing through to the front and close. Back and front, rond de jambe, en dedans, and back and side and front and close. We'll draw up to fifth for a balance and come to coup de pied and feel that hip articulation to equal sides of the body and balance. exercise has music by Andrew Holdsworth. For this exercise, I wanted to make things a little dancey and take advantage of perhaps the ability to have two bars if you have a chair and a wall perhaps. You can break this up in your mind in sort of like three sections. The first is a fondue section, which has fondues in each direction, plus a cloche and a rond de jambe à la seconde. We'll start that in reverse, fondue, 
one in each direction, and cloche rond de jambe. This goes into the third section, where it gets more choreographic. I'll do a soutenu turn, and in that moment, you might need to take a little kuru, a little step away from the wall, so that you have space to really luxuriate in this twist. And then we'll fondue and sweep that arm across. So the arm that I had in fifth on O here opens through an arabesque and then sweeps through second to a first arabesque quasi. Fondue and step back, gathering those arms back to where we started this section. Now, for a dive down, sweeping down your leg, and returning up, and rond de jambe to Alice Akhand, a diagonal line and fondue. Slowly, I'll gather up into fifth, petit développé, to create that pose on the other side. Slowly, and then we have it quickly. One and two, and a pas de bourree back, side, front, and we're ready for fondues on the other side. So, fondue, devant, fondue, elisicon, fondue back. I'm going quickly here. Cloche, rond de jambe side. Reverse that fondue back. Fondue side, fondue devant, cloche, rond de jambe, and here we go into our second section again. A soutenu turn and tendu. So this is the arm closest to the camera that goes up. Big twist, luxuriate in that beautiful pose. Fondue and step and swoosh the arms. Fondue. And another twist, beautiful pose. And we open to an allongé side. Fondue, arms in a diagonal down to the toe. Gather in slowly and open. Gather in slowly, feel your center, and petit double pay. Now a little faster. Up and out. Up and out, back, side, front, and we're ready now to take the bar again. Forward bend, this is the third and final section. We'll take a nice deep dive forwards. Rolling slowly up to your spine, little softened forwards for a back bend, open into second, tonnelier, Big tongue the so you can reach the other bar. Forward bend, rolling up. This will be a little slower. Back bend, open to second, and tongue the and that's where we'll finish. Again, this exercise is meant to give us a little bit of creative choreography. So enjoy the music, enjoy the dancing, and let's have fun. Ready.
exercise for center is meant to give you a little bit of fun. So we're just going to enjoy balancing, twirling, and kicking our legs up. The first section is about balance. So we'll stand in fifth position. I'm facing a corner here. Now I'll do a retire and balance. I'm feeling very supported by strengthening my core, lifting up and forwards. My standing leg so strong, lifting up in my hip and lengthening all the way up through my spine. The foot is at the front of the knee, pressing in. If you feel strong enough, you can go for a balance, lifting your heel and pressing the ball of your foot down. Balance, balance, balance. Come down and ton lie to repeat on the other side. Retire and feel strong center, strong standing leg. If you feel comfortable, rise up and lower down, ton lie back to the starting position. Second section, arms lift up and out, grand baton front, use that same leg, brush into the side and sit in your turn. And we open arms again, grand baton and sit in your turn. Don't forget to spot your head. Another balance, this time taking little steps for a small promenade and close that foot behind in a releve and we start on the other side. Just be sure before you kick that you have space in front of you and space to the side. So you might need to take a moment to adjust after you close. Any little step. Grand battement and same leg opens to the side. Use the weight of your arms and the spotting of your head to twirl around. Grand battement and suit a new turn. Retire and promenade and coupe. We'll repeat that to the back now. A grand battement back, use your same leg. Suit a new. Twice. Soutenu. And use your same leg again. Now this is retire back. Hold, promenade to the second side, switch it to the front, and coupe, start again. And one, and two, and three, and four, and uh, five, six, and seven, and eight, and retire balance, promenade, switch it to the front. Here we are in the third section. It's about releves. Releve front of the knee. Again, releve front of the knee, opening your arms. And this could be a full turn if you have the space and if you're feeling comfortable, or as I'll show, just a quarter turn. Okay, so that again was releve front, releve front, and pirouette, close. Open and plie, releve, releve, and pirouette, oops, <laughs> and here we go again, releve, releve, and pirouette, and stretch, two releves devant, and one with a pirouette, closing behind, okay. Now, please enjoy this one. Make sure you're not going to hit anything, okay?
Thanks for dancing with me today. I hope you had fun. Although I'd love to be dancing with you in studio, this is a pretty cool opportunity. There are more classes for you to watch online. You can find them at the website nbs-enb.ca and on Instagram. These classes are free for you to enjoy, but if you'd like to donate, please do so. Canada's National Ballet School is a charitable organization and your donations can help us share our joy of dance to people of all ages. I'll be back next week with another video. So until then, take care.